Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next love reading. Oops. Um, from this point and going forward through the rest of August. Um, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Please take what fits, leave the rest. The personal reading links are below this video if you would like to request one. Um, yeah, so please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this channel. Thank you. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at this love reading. What's going on here? So I'm going to do the Celtic cross. You have the past energy is the Ten of Swords. The present is, oh, Virgo, you're back in quiet, silent mode again, are you? Or somebody is. High Priestess. Okay, Seven of Swords. Challenge. What's driving the reading is the Five of Wands. You yourself crowning this reading, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles in the near future, your advice, the Magician. This person has the Death card and the Wheel of Fortune, Hopes and Fears, the Eight of Pentacles, and the outcome is the Two of Cups and the Lovers. What? Okay. Something ended in the past. Somebody hit rock bottom. <laughs> okay. Or somebody's something ended surrender done finished finito it's over can't do it anymore i'm beat i'm defeated i'm out okay let me get a couple of romance angels to see what the messages are here for you okay let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others worth waiting for divine timings that work in your love life Past life relationship. Boy, you can't get away from these past energies, can you, Virgo? Um, okay. Virgo, you've got somebody here who has, is, has hit rock bottom, okay? Whether you know it or not, okay? And it's painful, and it, but it's complete, okay? Somebody is getting help, asking for help from other people. Now, for some of you, it's you. Okay, could be recovery, could be surrendering to an addiction or um, just breaking down. It feels like nervous breakdown, breaking down. Okay, like whew, that's it. Um, and somebody is like reaching out for support. Okay, listen, whatever's going on with you and another person, um, divine timing is at work here. It's not in your hands. It's out of your hands. Let it go. Leave it be. Let the angels, let God, let spirit work on this. Okay? This is a past life thing. So I have to tell you, Virgo, I know some of you are like, come on. But this is a relationship. This is with someone you've known before. Okay? I don't know if it's the recent one or way a long time ago. But your energy, somebody's energy here is like complete silence at this time trusting intuition and the challenge here the obstacle is the seven of swords is this person going to run away again it's it's a trust issue it's a trust issue let's take a look at this ten of swords here can you trust yourself are you having a hard time trusting yourself virgo could be this person might be having a hard time trusting uh, not knowing what you're doing what's going on with you maybe you are in silent mode you're not talking you're not communicating what is this defeat here well they were in decision mode the seven of pentacles they were kind of like him and han okay delaying things and i feel like boom something ended perhaps because of a delay or having to wait or making somebody wait for something or them just delaying success in their own lives and missing opportunities you know whether that's in career love health whatever uh, somebody also had back surgery okay yeah six of wands here this person missed the boat that's what I was saying, having success. They were delaying success. They were delaying having a win, <laughs> you know, or um, being victorious. They got some good news, perhaps, about something, and they didn't act on it, and something here ended. Okay, that's for some. But the, the, 
the situation right now, somebody's here like, oh my gosh, going within, trying to sort things out. Somebody's getting tarot card readings. Could be you, could be your person. I mean, if you're here listening, it's you, obviously. But um, that feels very much like Piscean Cancer energy. There's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's Gemini. There's Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. All right, let's take a look here. What is this high priestess? What's high priestess thinking about? Ooh, retreating, rest, recovery, going silent, um, getting some R&R, &R, pulling away, okay? Renewing the self, renewing the intuition, um, solitude. That's definitely um, energy that's playing out right now with you or with your person or both of you because there's a, there's a trust issue here with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is betrayal. Okay, somebody here had a betrayal in the past or was betrayed. Let's take a look here. Or both, both of you felt this in this connection why is seven of swords here again again ten of swords here you go i love when the cards just confirm exactly what the messages are i hear spirit they're cheering cheering me on they're like yes yes this, yes this is what it is um yeah can someone trust this relationship to not be betrayed to not be deceived to not be stolen from it trust that somebody isn't going to run away again a lot of these issues are playing up here. Okay, what's driving the reading? There's a tremendous amount of challenges and conflict in this connection. There's rivalry, a lot of obstacles. What were these obstacles here in this connection, this relationship? Well, look who's back, the King of Wands. There might have been interference from a King of Wands or somebody was just very kind of my way or the highway. Okay, power. Okay, the world. Okay. The challenge here, there was a lot of coming and going. That's how I feel for some of you. Um, the challenge might have been the travel. There might have been a long distance thing that made this relationship really difficult for some. Um, the challenge here was to complete and learn the lesson, the lesson, but there was just, it wasn't, the lesson was not, the lesson has not been learned yet. That's what I feel. Or it has been learned, but the contract is not over yet because the lovers is here. And I know some of you are like, ugh. Well, it's over for me. I shut my door. Well, maybe you have. Or maybe this person has shut the door. Maybe you both shut the door on each other, but it's not done yet. Let's see what's going on here. Crowning. Now, this person is definitely thinking about you, Virgo. Okay. Um, and you, if it's you, you're thinking about putting yourself first here. Okay. Oh my gosh, the Knight of Cups. Well, they're definitely, they want, to, they want to come in. Yes, an actual proposal. They want to offer you that love. Maybe say, hey, you want to get together, go on a date, go do something together. That kind of thing is coming in here. And you, if, you know, if this is you, which I feel like it is, you're kind of like, I don't know if I can trust this person. They've deceived me before. They've betrayed me before, right? Um, you may want them to do this, but there's a... There's a con there's con there's a conflicted mind. There's cognitive dissonance that's playing out in your head. And if you don't know what that means, look it up. Because a lot of you are definitely struggling with that at this time because of betrayal and loss. Whatever this person betrayed you with, you know your betrayals. You know the things that you were let down. Okay. Yeah. You want fairness. You want a win-win solution. You want love to come into your life and you're only going to take people who are truthful with you. And if you want this person to come back in, they got to be open and honest with justice. They got to do the right thing, right? And what is the right thing for you? Honesty, integrity. Um, <laughs> justice can be karma, okay? 
do karma. What you sow, what you what you um, you reap, what you sow. Okay, uh, some of you might be kind of like, oh, okay. You know, they this person might be trying to come back in because they realize they screwed up. Maybe you're gone silent on them and you're not really communicating with them. Like you, and when I say silent, I'm talking about you cannot be seen. You are off the radar from this person in one way or another. Not answering the phone, not replying to communications, um, not answering the door, that kind of thing. Mm. I feel like though this person is going to come and bring you some truth. They're going to talk to you. They're going to try to talk to you and, and tell you the truth about something. Um, that they do love you. That the eight, that Nine of Cups is here. That they do want you. They do feel that you're worth waiting for. They do feel that past life connection with you. But this, these Ten of Swords and Seven Swords back here. Yeah. So what's coming up for you? Long-term security. Hold on. I'm going to get another card. There's obsession here. Here's karma. Yep. That's what's coming up for you. Revelation. Um, somebody's coming towards you in the near future and is going to open up and tell you they'd never let you go. They never wanted to let you go. Um, they didn't mean to, you know, they've had clarity, you know, a wake up call. They didn't mean to do the things that they did or say the things that they said, you know, um, they were still holding on to you. Um, they're still a bit deflective and defensive in a lot of ways, but they're also going to communicate with you that they were like that, maybe trying to protect themselves. Um, this karma, I said karma just a minute ago with the justice card. This person is definitely reaping what they sown, and it's karma. It's karma. This is judgment day. So your advice, you have the magician. Keep it moving, Virgo. Keep manifesting. Keep all your cards out on the table. You don't have to hide. You don't have to run. Whatever you're trying to create in your life, um, stay focused on that. Keep turning your visions into reality. Right? Stay inspired. As it is above, so it will be below. Be in alignment with that. Stay centered. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Keep working on that. Those finances. Keep this Page of Pentacles. As of recently, just started reminding me, like uh, not reminding me, but I was kind of like hearing, like, oh, a paycheck. Keep getting that paycheck. <laughs> keep focusing on that money. Your concepts, your ideas, your plans, your things that you want to make real in your life. Keep just keep that going. Don't. So if you if you had a bad betrayal or you've like you're just very emotionally distraught about something or that's still lingering try not to let that affect your stability in your life keep manifesting things and i'm not talking about manifesting the law of attraction or anything i'm talking about real world things like things that are here look how he's got everything here on the table he's got all his tools and he's ready to go, he or she, right? So that's kind of like your advice here. You know, if you're receiving um, money, if you're talking business with people, it's so funny how your advice always comes around in that way. I think yesterday's reading was the same thing. Um, so the Page of Pentacles, right? This is like a new job, uh, receiving um, news about a raise or money, um, helping out with a child, uh, paying for college for a child, I just heard you know, working hard, but also being in a position of like having concepts and ideas for business, self-employment, entrepreneurial things, and being persistent, not, that's what I was saying, don't let any emotional things, try not to let, for those of you who, who suffer with that, try not to let those emotional things deter you, stand your ground, have your boundaries, okay? and keep them keep and maintain them and be persistent in that this is like protecting what you're doing in your life is very beautiful now this person more in depth 
I mean, there's definitely going to be not only maybe them getting their karma, but there's also going to be some kind of wake up call for you, Virgo, that maybe you were holding on too tightly. You might realize that for some of you, or maybe there might be greed here. Somebody was too greedy or, or very possessive. That might be a wake up call for you, Virgo. Okay. Um, and you know, sometimes it happens and you might just be like, oh, damn, I was holding on to something that maybe wasn't good for me, or maybe I shouldn't have been holding on to, maybe it went on too long, or maybe it was just, it didn't go on that long, but it was intense, you know? So that might be a wake up call for you as well. This person here making huge change. There might've been a death in their family um, or something ended and there's a turning point in this person's life, okay? Let's take a look here. Um, let's see. They may have spent all their winnings as well. <laughs> or they put an end to gambling for some of you. Because <laughs> that's the wheel of fortune. I mean, come on. This is like Russian roulette here. Spinning the wheel. Uh, somebody might have had um, an issue with money. Okay, and that's done. Okay. I'm also hearing somebody... Might be in casinos or Vegas and something. There's a lot of death there. Uh, I don't know what that means. I, I don't know that your person's going to die. I don't feel that way, but there's like, I don't know. It's bleak. It's bleak. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Going back to school. Um, all right. This might be somebody you're connected to. It's just going back to school. Uh, retraining. Um but it's also marriage, teamwork, collaboration, quality craftsmanship, and, and skill. Um, it's about harmony, coming into union. I feel like this person, again, Three of Pentacles, my marriage card. I feel like this person is like changing their mind about marriage or about being uh, in a committed connection. Why is this a marriage card? It's funny. Because it's teamwork. It takes two people. And the three is about communication as well, communicating with each other. So it's nice. It's really, really nice. But I feel like this person needed to like seek some help, friends, family, support, counseling, recovery groups, whatever. Uh, get some added support to help them with whatever they were dealing with. Now, of course, Virgo, you're hoping this person is going to be consistent, maintain, be very rote. Rote can be boring, but perseverance and consistency is what builds right so there's an energy here of hoping that this person is going to really make an effort really put the energy and the work in um, and match your effort there's a fear of course that they might be um, a workaholic and they might work too much and it, and um, be too distracted from the relationship or not pay attention to you right um, be too busy as well but this, I got to tell you, this outcome is gorgeous. The two of cups, there's a coming together. There's um, romantic love, partnership, a proposal of marriage. You two are getting married or you're solidifying this union for sure. And this is a decision that you're both making here. Okay. Opposites attract, they just told me. There's diversity. There's something different between you and your person. It could be different economical. Wait, is that the word I want to use? Well, different financial uh, upbringing statuses, different um, religious beliefs, different uh, races, cultures, ethnicities, all that for some, not all of you. Okay. But um, one might be a doctor and one might be a waitress. <laughs> whichever but there's a caduceus here so it's an element of healing lee i see a little bit of leo in there somewhere so i don't know if that's gonna resonate um very very strong like vulnerability opening up to one another um showing every aspect of of yourselves uh, my ad sponsors are probably gonna strike me because of this card is very um <laughs> revealing but the interesting thing that i just noticed okay uh there's also an energy here for um whoever the divine feminine is in this connection is avoiding temptation and really uh looking up to spirit looking up to god following um 
spiritual advice and direction. But in the other in the other deck, which is interesting, usually the male uh, divine masculine in this is looking at the female and looking at her body, right? And or whatever, however you guys like. I can't I can't with all these different genders and stuff. It's too confusing. But um, think of them as energies and not as like the physical self. Okay, so the divine masculine was looking at the divine females outside right while she was looking up at the at spirit she gets her guidance and direction but look now this divine masculine is also looking up to spirit okay so what does that mean that means to me in this card that the focus of physical pleasure while it is a part of it it is not the main focus it is the spiritual connection the past life <clears throat> you know connection this is my twin flame this is ascension from soulmate to twin flame that's how i feel what's going on here okay somebody has a c-section scar i just heard um all right let's see and was not wanting to reveal that but will be I don't know what that means, but um, okay. So let's get some love messages here. Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear, Virgo. Okay. Well, that's one message in itself. Okay. This person... You know, there's, there's definitely heavy regret, and I feel like they're going to come in and try to apologize for whatever it was that happened. And I feel like you have some regrets too, and you're going to apologize as well um, to try to bring this union into a healthier place. Or for some, you might, you know, this is guidance, and this is what I see coming, but you have free will, and you could do whatever you like. Okay, finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. Definitely played a role. And I feel like I said that some distance will help bring clarity. So you're distancing right now. Okay, or you're both distancing. Well, if you're distancing, the other person has no choice but to. So there's distance is bringing some clarity to both of you. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And I feel like that needs to happen first. Because, like I said, there may be um, an energy of like, wow, you might have been holding on, or this person was holding on too tightly. Okay, so that energy, I feel, has to play out first before this reunion or this coming back together um, thing. Or, you know, I will say for some of you, if this is someone that you recently met <clears throat> and it didn't really go anywhere due to obstacles or other things there may be a timeout that's happening here okay twin flame twin flame twin slime i know some of you are like hey my flame it's a slime ball um okay this is a divine counterpart connection Okay, it's def I said that already, so I don't need to repeat myself. Let's get some charms, Virgo. This one's going to be a little shorter, I, I think. All right, what are they giving us today? We've got a dolphin, and darn it, with this poodle. Whoever has a poodle, this is your message. Okay, what's, the, what's up with the dolphin? Dolphins are like the angels of the sea. They're, they, they are the protectors, okay? They're the lifesavers. So you've got like your spirit animal might be a dolphin or maybe you, your spirit animal dolphin is watching over you or you're swimming in the ocean. You're somewhere near the ocean where there's dolphins or you're seeing like a sea dolphin show. Um, and this poodle, very fancy, uh, really trim and looking really, really good. I feel that poodles kind of remind me of high society. You know, so Virgo, some of you might be like, you re you either are high society or your person views you as that way. Like maybe you're too good for them uh, or this person views you that way or you um, are leveling up into, you know, a higher bracket on the, uh, on the societal chain, <laughs> plateauing up or you know, not plateauing up, you know, 
and you're not you're not shopping in um, Walmart. Some of you are, are like, yeah, you know what? I only shop at uh, Macy's. I only go to um, I only go to Ulta to get my cosmetics. Um, you know, I'm top of the line. Uh, I'm trying to think of like high level shopping. Uh, you know, Michael Kors products, that kind of stuff, right? Chanel, like high society. Maybe you're already there. They see that <laughs> they got to level up to you or you're just like, you know what? I'm not messing around here at the bottom of the, the shit bag pool. I'm like, I'm going up to the top. <laughs> All right. My sponsors are totally going to block my video. Christmas tree. All right. Christmas. Something's coming up around Christmas time. Celebration. Okay. That's significant. Um, now, you don't have to celebrate Christmas, of course, but what that means for me is December 25th is going to be a very profound, there might even be a proposal or marriage or something like that coming in here around that time. Blessed, beautiful. I said, angel, you are so blessed, Virgo. Just know that. You may not feel that right now, or maybe you do, but you are 100% blessed. Okay, wait, I just accidentally dropped this. We have a rose. So somebody's name is Rose. Somebody's name is Christian as well. Rose. Yeah, or there's Rose in the name somewhere. Um, oh, I just heard. Wasn't that a song? Kiss by, Kiss by a Rose or... Or the rose, the song, the the rose. That's an old song. All right, let's say one more. And they're giving me two more. And they're giving me, oh man, three more. Okay, we have a Dalmatian, a dog, two dogs here. Somebody's got two dogs. Um, and there's also the the born in the year of the dog. I feel like that happened yesterday. That came up yesterday. Um, and then wow, horseshoe. Lucky, lucky. Hmm. Maybe somebody puts shoes on horses too, or somewhere where they do that. But this horseshoe, um, I feel like somebody, either you have a horseshoe up above your door or you need to go put one up there. Because there's luck and it might be attached to this person. I feel like this person feels very lucky to um, even if you would to give them another chance or to to allow this allow them to grace them with your presence. <laughs> and then we have a salamander. okay, that's fire energy, lizard. Maybe somebody has a lizard. A lot of animals in this reading, animal lover. Or somebody has like a gecko or a bearded dragon or some kind of lizard. I think yesterday we had a snake. So uh, somewhere there's those Gila monsters or lizards or what those types of um, reptiles somewhere where somebody lives. Okay. <laughs> um, let me get your advice here moving forward in this reading. Okay. Well, hello. Okay. Oh my gosh. These were yesterday. Is it because I'm a bad shuffler? Because they were meant to come out. Because they flipped out. Knight of Cups and the Ego. Be discerning. You have to be discerning. Because yesterday you had the Knight of Cups twice. And now you have it again twice. Today. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle. Falling in love, being swept off your feet. A sudden love affair. There's a lack of balance in a relationship, situations, or topics that make your heart flutter, Love, a love of art and poetry. Somebody's coming in to sweep you off your feet, Virgo, male or female, it doesn't matter. The ego, the illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits, I feel like that energy is clearing out. Somebody's breaking the chains with the ego. That's a that is a that's the devil card, and I feel like addiction may play a role. It doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol; it could be anything. Okay, that really was for some what the betrayal was, and I feel like that's healing. 
Okay, one more, and then we're going to be done. All right, Nine of Cups. Wishes coming true, Virgo, for you. Your dreams become a reality, a magical time of life. And I feel like it's going to be in 2022. It's going to be very magical for you. Good fortune, faith in the universe, that all will be well. Okay, Virgo, um, true material abundance and good health is coming to you and your advice is to allow that to happen allow that to come to you embrace all that energy you know what the the relics on this card wishes coming true in the material i feel like and i'm just going to leave this here with you um somebody is sells gems or does gemstone or something something or something with crystals um so that's going to be prosperous there's the yin and the yang and that's balance and i was saying that opposites attract and i feel like did i say that yeah and i feel like you and your person there's going to be abundance and prosperity in that relationship um, we also have an eagle here a bird um, we have a lot of animals somewhere where somewhere a lot of eagles something to do with eagles we have two birds we have a dove as well i feel like one of you is an eagle and one of you is a dove okay i don't know how that will resonate for you but this is the ace of cups right there okay so prosperity and new love um actually that's a swan there's a rebirth because there is an there's a dove over here so there's a rebirth happening here there's a heart abundance and love and then the caduceus here which is also here on the two of cups okay so there's a healing energy that's coming can you guys see it i, I can't seem to get my uh, camera to focus well it's up here there's a caduceus so there's healing doctor 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 and then there's like, um, I'm not sure, is that a, a flag or is that a ribbon? I'm hearing gold medal. And look at this genie. You know what? <laughs> Go get yourself a little genie lamp. Something to do with um, Egypt. Egypt is very strong <laughs> coming through here. But there's, of course, it doesn't have to be, but I'm just feeling that. Um, something to do with this genie lamp <laughs> which is coming true i love this reading i really love this reading this is such a great reading in fact i'm going to end it here because i don't think it can get what a way to end when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are your dreams come true right so wish is coming true at the end here what you've been praying about wishing for as long as you're not haven't been trying to like if you're just praying for healing in you and other people around you and and all of that and and sending love and and healing and blessings then that comes that comes for you that does because you're wishing for the best all right i'm gonna leave that here for you virgo love you guys i'll see you tomorrow take care